Hello friends. Today I want to discuss about one of the string important method that is the intern method. If you look at the string class, you won't find any implementation for this because it's a native method and uh, what it says is that it will return a string that will have the same contents as of this string but it will always be from the string pool. So let's write a, let's go through a test program and check it out. So in this test program, first of all, I am using this new string to create a string. And since we are using this new keyword, it will go to the heap memory, just like any other objects you create. Now since we know that if you create a string using uh, double quotes, it's a string literal and it always go to the string pool. So this string S1 should be in the heap memory, whereas this S2 should be in the string pool. So basically the references will be different. So let's create another test string, string S3, and it's again a string literal. So what it means that this S2 and S3 should have the same reference. So here is a test um, program. Basically, I'm just running this reference test. Note that I'm using double equals to make sure it checks the reference also. So the first one where I am checking S1 equal equal S2, it should be printing false because S1 is in heap memory and S2 is in uh, string pool. Similarly, S2 is equal to S3, it should be true because both are in the string pool. Then again, I'm calling S1 dot intern method. So it will return the string from the string pool, which will have the same value. So this is one important part as is, is that you need to assign it to again to S1 or maybe some other variable. Otherwise, this string will be lost and our test will fail. So, uh, so now what I'm, what it should do this intern method that it should be checking in the string pool that, hey, whether there is any string with values ABC or not. And since it, there is a string with value abc already in the string pool it should return the reference to s2 so now s1 and s2 should be referencing to the same uh, object so that's why i'm running this test again and this time it should be true so let's just run this program and see whether our theories goes with our understanding of intern method or not so i'm just saying run this method okay so s1 equal equal s2 is false like we expected then true and then true again so now we know what this intern method is doing yeah that's all thank you bye